it's Adrian reporting for ESUplus.com. It's such a pleasure to have next to me here for the final of Estelal 2019. I'm not sure, to, I'm not supposed to uh, reveal anything until it gets published, but we are doing it in advance. Helena Born and Yuri Potsman, Estonian representatives, previous Estonian representatives at Eurovision 2015, 2016. Yeah. How are you guys? It's such a pleasure to be here with you in Tallinn. Uh, thank you. Everything is good. I'm looking forward for tomorrow and uh, for our performance. It's going to be great. Yes, really excited, of course. Really excited. Really want to know who's the winner, of course, like everybody. And uh, just chilling here. Yeah. Okay. Good mood and very good atmosphere, as always. Okay. Tell us a bit more what uh, you're going to be doing on the show. Like, what, what's... Uh... Mm, I'm going to sing my new song which is uh, out maybe a month now. So go listen to it. It's called Tagasime. Uh, I'm going to perform it actually for the very first time for such a big audience mm -hmm. and on live TV. So I'm a bit uh, nervous about it, but I think it's going to be fine. And um, I don't know. Yeah, well... We, yes, and then of course Elena's new single, but then we also have a duet together, so we will maybe perform that as well. Okay. Uh, cannot quite say that yet, but... Would you think about making a duet for Estilauli in the future? Like, I don't know. Um, Could it be possible? <clears throat> of course. Yeah, yeah, why not? But we yeah. just had, like, a duet. Yeah. Maybe we're going to wait a couple of years and then maybe... Okay. No, I think we should do it as soon as possible. Mm, okay, so there's next a, year? There's, a never, like, there's never enough of me and you together. Okay, I think, okay. okay. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> a couple of years, yeah, let's wait. Okay, so we might keep an eye on it, so yeah. maybe that could happen in the future. Okay, Eurovision uh, 2015, Eurovision 2016, I want you guys to ask how has your life changed about it and uh, after it and what kind of things uh, made you help you in order to improve your career here in your home country in Estonia? In which way? Um, I don't, like, it was so many years ago, if I think about it now. Um, I don't remember that it, uh, that my life changed, like, very, like, uh, uh, in, a, in a big way. Of course, there were many, like, uh, performances in Estonia. Uh, but uh, what's different? Well, I joined the uh, Universal Music. Mm -hmm. Uh, and um, I don't know. Oh, I'm doing uh, music in Estonia now. Yes. Because right. when I was in Vienna, I had my first album out, and it was in English. And I only sang in English. Yes. But now I'm only doing it in Estonian. So maybe that's changed. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for you? Yeah, well, it was just an amazing experience. And to be in Stockholm as the capital of I don't know, pop music overall. And uh, it was uh, just really, really great to experience the big stage, live TV, and uh, and I'm just much more, um, how to say, like I know much more after Eurovision, you know, because it learned. Same. I learned a lot from there. So so I'm more comfortable with TV, for example, like live singing live on TV, and um, and I mean Eurovision is just great, you know, like there's really really much to learn from, from Eurovision. So. Okay. Actually, the Eurovision Song Contest has changed. Every year it keeps on changing much more and much more. We were talking about it uh, beforehand, but um, for a few years back now, if we uh, keep our eyes back into the, into the past, uh, when you went to Eurovision, it was a year after Conchita's win. Mm -hmm. and I remember it. Your year was after... Um, Mons Samuel yeah. of win. Yeah. So both were totally different. And also this year, Salvador Sobral and Neta were oh, yeah. totally different. How has the Eurovision changed for you? And how do you see the Eurovision nowadays? I don't know. For me, it has always been a show. And um, I don't know. Not so much about songs, maybe. Like, like music. Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, yeah, Salvador uh, changed it a bit. But then next year won uh, Neta, mm -hmm. which is like, I don't know, it's, it's just a pop song, you know. She had a cool um, performance. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Well, I think it's what's really great about Eurovision, 
you it's really like you cannot expect yeah you know like you cannot predict anything at Eurovision it's 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 like yeah mm-hmm. for example it's, you cannot say that one like type one is the winner song you know there's no algorithm for that in my yeah, opinion yeah I was going you know, to ask like, you about yeah. that if there's yeah. a formula that you think because every year is different and yeah. do you think there's a formula or something that it's needed to stand out from the rest or for you know if we leave the song aside for example like you have to really be comfortable on the stage and you have to be confident as well you know mm-hmm. and you have to believe what you're singing then it doesn't matter if it's a pop song if it's an opera song if you know you And it has to be believable, which is the most important thing. Mm-hmm. And people can see that, and they vote, of course, mm-hmm. and of course the jury as well. But um, if if it's visually pleasant, and if you see that the artist is comfortable, then there will be many points, probably. <laughs> yeah. So it's 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 more about the performance okay. rather than the song. Uh, leaving aside your result, because you went all go, well, you you both went all th- different through mm-hmm. different situations. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, what do you think about um, your best? What is your best memory that you that you still keep from it from each of from your vision? Yep. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Everything was like I remember the feeling that I didn't. Like understand what was happening, and I didn't believe that I'm there because I've always wanted to go to Eurovision and or just to go and be in the uh, be in the <laughs> public uh, mm. or something. But to perform there, it was like um, something very. I just couldn't believe it. Uh, even now, when I'm thinking about it, it's like, what? Mm. It's me there. How? <laughs> But uh, I think everything was like we were there like two weeks in Vienna, and they were like uh, very. You shared the responsibility with the stake as well, yes. so it was uh, 50 fifty in a way. Yeah. So may, yeah. maybe that helped you a bit more. Yeah, it? of course it was very yeah good. It's uh, you know you feel very comfortable when you have like some um, support. As well. Yeah, yeah, of course. And Stig was such a good uh, partner too. So, yeah, for you, Yuri. Yeah, for me, it was everything was good. Like, if like really, it, for me, that like it really didn't matter what place I got, because it's really not important eventually. Because I was there as an artist, and uh, and uh, and I er, like learned and gained a lot. What do you think went wrong? Because I didn't have the chance to ask you back in the days. Mm. Oh my God, I was just really young and really green. <laughs> you know, like, like uh, I, I think I kind of, like it was kind of like the right time for me because, you know, it's really good to learn from mistakes. And this is mm. like, <coughs> and uh, yeah, nothing went wrong in my opinion. Oh, I gave my best. That wasn't enough. Uh, or maybe no, maybe maybe it was just enough for 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 the fans and for the people because yeah. you have received a lot of positive feedback, both of you, and actually you are sharing something in in in, in com- You have something in common, which is like both of your songs were written by mm. Stick. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Stick is proved as one of the most respected yeah. and, and popular composers mm-hmm. in Estonia and international fan community. Love uh, Stick Rasta's mm. songs, and it's it's a reality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So maybe it was not because of the performance, but as you said, Eurovision, you never yes. know. And yeah. also the competition mm. was really hard. Yeah, mm. well, like good. It doesn't really year. matter what what place you get because the experience itself is uh, very, very like good and uh, valuable. Yeah, yeah. Very, yeah, and maybe even necessary for an artist. So I don't know. Uh, before going uh, to your. Um, music business career here in Estonia nowadays currently because I want to know more about it and how, uh, what are your projects uh, 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 nowadays and everything. Uh, would you be open to be back at Estilaul and therefore Eurovision? Um, of course, but I don't know when because right now I'm just concentrating uh, on my career in Estonia right now. And well, it, it, it depends on a song. If uh, someone uh, offers me um, a good song, uh, when I see the 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 opportunity that it's it's a good song, then maybe. But 
I don't know when it's going to happen. Life, uh, you never know. Life yeah. brings you surprises. Yeah. Every, Full of surprises. Every, yeah. yeah. Every day. And you, Yuri? Uh, what was the question? <laughs> when I will be like back at this alone? Mm. If you would like to be oh, part yeah, of it again. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, but you never know when. Yeah. Okay. Of course, because it's, you know, I love the uh, uh, idea of musicians kind of like coming together mm -hmm. and sharing music with people. Mm -hmm. In that stage, kind of like with a lot of people, I mean, through TV and so it's really good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so actually, this year competition seems to be really tough. Press is commenting, everyone in Estonia is like uh, online, social media. Have you got the chance to listen to all the entries? And do you have a favorite to win the Estonian selection this year? Yeah, I've listened to all the songs, uh, I watched the semi finals. Uh, I think that Victor is going to win. Okay, yeah, uh, well, I have. Um, They're very good songs, but yes, I think really good. Yeah, I, I have like four kind of me. my top four. I have, but I think Victor is gonna be yeah. like definitely in the top three at least. So Estonian people might not uh, thought about the possibility that a, a Swedish guy is going to represent Sonia. It's like Estonian people is not caring much about it, or you think Estonian people? I don't people, think it's a no? problem. No. Well, we have to wait for the well, results. Yeah, of so course, <laughs> but in my opinion, yeah, I'm talking problem. about my perspective. Yeah, as Estonian it, people. Yeah, like Estonian I person. don't, yeah. I don't care because uh, we've had uh, before. Yeah, Dave Benton actually. Yes, the one. and uh, well, uh, Dave is yeah, but uh, but uh, yeah, to from Sweden as well. Yeah, 2001 yeah. and, uh, and Sandra, yeah, Sandra. Well, yeah. but yeah, because it's. It's a song competition, no. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Where oh, yeah, Sandra, yeah, Sandra uh, through my window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay, yes. yeah, true, true. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, six yeah. Swedish as well. Actually, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but then, then it's, it's uh, yeah, okay. Fixed, yeah, so it's fine. It's that, fixed. Yeah. yeah, it's fine that it's fixed. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. From Sweden, no. <laughs> Okay, so we will see and we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah. Going back to your oh. things in, in Estonia, oh. what are you currently uh, in? What are your projects nowadays in Estonia? Well, um, you just said you released a song as well. Yeah, I released a song. Uh, the song is doing very great, which I'm very happy about. Um, but uh, yeah, just writing uh, new music and uh, I want to work with uh, as many uh, composers as possible, uh, different composers and, you know, I'm just like... I don't know, I just want to <laughs> see what the world has to offer for me. Sure. <laughs> Great answer. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, what about you? What do you want to hear? <laughs> no. Like, it's, I mean, it's, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, uh, What's the new song called? What is the, I have also some new music coming up, like okay. before summer. Yeah. Ooh. Sure. So, so that's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have, have to know everything. <laughs> so it's something definitely to keep an eye on. Yes. And, and we will, I'm sure Eurovision fans will, and, and also international community will keep an eye on, on it. As, uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully. Yeah, yep, sure. Uh, is there a message or something that you would like to say to ESU Plus readers on the camera? Uh, feel free to do it now. It's, uh, the camera and the microphone is yours. If you want to deliver something, it's... You. <laughs> no? I don't know. Eurovision fans are the best. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was so <laughs> nice to meet you guys again. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks. Uh, really pleased to be sharing the experience in Estonia with all the musicians here and you guys. So, yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. Yeah. yeah thank you yes, very much for your time. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.